here with Alabama A&M head coach Connell Maynard. Coach, we spoke after your spring game, and you, you were really confident about the team. What have you seen? What have you seen from your team throughout the summer in just terms of their development, commitment to the workout process? Uh, they worked very hard this summer uh, with our strength and conditioning coach. Uh, then they got out there on their own three days a week doing seven on seven player lead, some player lead seven on sevens. And um, we had uh, over 80 guys there this summer. And uh, they did a tremendous job of uh, working hard and, and trying to get better. And so I'm excited about the upcoming season and fall camp. Those guys are going to be in shape. Uh, they prepared. They're going to know the offense and defense. And uh, we can't wait to get, get started. You have a new quarterback that came in since we last spoke, Quad Brown, coming in from UT Martin, formerly Georgia State. Is coming into the quarterback battle with so many talented quarterbacks, does that change up the dynamic for that competition going into fall? Uh, not really. Not really. You know, we're going to try to get them all a fair amount of reps. Um, and we're going to get Quad probably a few more reps because we've seen the other guys. We know what they can do. But uh, we're going to make it fair. And uh, with the guy that's the most consistent, the guy that moves the chains, get first downs, touchdowns, don't turn the ball over, that's going to be the guy to get the shot to run out there first. When do you want to have your, your decision by? Are you okay with running a two QB system early in the season? Mm, probably not. But we might do it just the first game. Right. Uh, uh, if we're not really settled on who we want to go with, we might do that the first game. But I don't like the two quarterbacks. I like to play one quarterback because I, I think personally, if you try to play two quarterbacks, you split your team in half. Right. You got receivers that want this quarterback, receivers that want that quarterback. You got linemen that want this quarterback, linemen right. that want that quarterback. You got defense guys like this guy. Defense. So then you split your team in half when you do that, in my opinion. Right. So I don't like to do that. When you look at the wide receiving unit, you guys have a lot of talented names, a lot of new faces that people might not know. Who has really emerged as one of the top guys in that wide receiving unit? Uh, probably Hambrick. Hambrick has emerged, and um, Terrell Gardner will be back. And he, he, he really came on last year and then the end of the season, like the last four games. So we're expecting him to have, have a big year this year. Um, CJ uh, is back. And uh, and the rest, you know, we like we throw it around. We we don't just say, okay, we're gonna throw the ball to him. We call a play, and it depends on what defense they in, who we're gonna go to. Looking at your career, you've coached a long time now, and you're an off offensive-minded guy. What's the biggest changes you've seen in offensive scheming and game planning, and just systems since your time, even from Winston Salem to now? Oh, everybody just more spread out, and uh, use the short passing game as running as running game. Uh, you know, and then. To be honest with you, the NFL is starting to do it, and that's why they don't want to pay no running backs no more. You know, so everybody's throwing these short screens to the wide receivers, get four or five yards just like a running play. And, but it's making the defensive line run sideline to sideline. Right. So it's wearing those guys down. And so that's just kind of where the game is going to now. When you look at your team last year to this year, what's the biggest thing you want to see your team improve on from 2022 to 2023? Uh, offensively, taking care of the football, uh, not turning the ball over. Um, defensively, uh, doing a lot better in the red zone. We wasn't a very good red zone team last year, uh, so we want to do a lot better in the red zone, hold people to field goal attempts or, or nothing, uh, not giving up touchdowns when we get in the red zone. Coach, I appreciate your time. I know you got to get out of here. I know you're tired of, I'm tired of standing in front of these cameras, but I appreciate you so much, and good luck on your upcoming season. Yes, sir. Thank you.